Okay, I think we're good to go. This is gonna be the first video of the mental hacking series. I'm gonna talk about some tips and tricks that I use, that I've seen, that I've heard um, to improve in hacking, web security. These can be applied to anything, of course, any skill in your life, we're gonna talk about it in terms of hacking and bug bounties because that's what the channel's about, but you can bring it in anything, whether it's fitness, health, new language, new instrument, um, waking up early, whatever it might be. Um, obviously the first one here is, is on the screen. We're gonna talk about it for a second. Um, but the reason why I'm starting this with the learning thing and the learning mindset and all that kind of stuff is because hacking and web security can seem like a really, really big thing or a really, really tough thing to learn. And a lot of people struggle with motivation and imposter syndrome and, and all these different kinds of things. Um, and I think just putting a video out there and talking about a little bit that like everyone's a learner, everyone's still learning, everyone's improving every day. And that should be the goal versus having the biggest bounty on Twitter or having the being in the leaderboard or this or that or the next thing. Um, it's really more of a yourself versus yourself thing. And we're going to talk about that later versus uh, yourself versus anyone else. So I'm going to pull up my script here. And the first thing we're going to talk about Again, like I said, is the thing on the screen. So the power of tiny gains or the 1% improvement rule. Um, so if you can see the math, there's math for doing 1% better at something every day. And there's math for doing 1% worse at something every day or like slowly decaying or whatever. So the dotted line in the graph is obviously if you just stayed the same, if you stayed stagnant, um, you can see if you get 1% worse every day, you slowly start to decay um, towards zero, towards having no skill at all, and you see it's kind of a smaller curve, but getting 1% better every day over and over for a period of time, like a consistent period of time. For that math to make sense, the, the to the power of 365 means that you did 365 days in a row of consistently getting 1% better. Otherwise, that math doesn't work. Um, if it's a hundred, it's, you know, it'd be to the hundredth power or whatever. But if you're consistently every day, just trying to get 1% better, then that's how the math works. And if you see it, if you're starting at one, you're ending at, you know, 37.78, right? You're ending way, way higher at the end of just one year than where you started just by getting 1% better every day, 1% better than you were the day before. So I just wanted to start with this because again, when we talk about some of the techniques that I use or that I've heard of other people use um, and some mindset stuff, I just want to remember that I'm not talking about like, oh, okay, like next week I have to be able to like be the master at this thing or next week I have to have it down or next week I have to be able to pop 10 bugs in a week, otherwise it's, it's not working. 1% every day can be something, something so super, super minor. Like maybe you learned some new thing about a JWT today. Like, that's great. Maybe you learned this new thing about a WAF. It didn't help you find a bug today or anything, but you like learned, oh, there's something interesting about this Cloudflare WAF or the way AWS does WAF or something like that. And it's just something that you know. Like, you got 1% better today than you were yesterday. There's tangible proof that you improved from the day before. Um, so from my knowledge, from my experience, and from experience I've gotten or heard from others, there's really three big ways to have continuous improvement. And you can have a mix of all three, you can have just one, you can swap back and forth between the three of them, but there's three big ways to really make sure you're consistently improving at something. And it's quality, quantity, and then consistency. So again, you can have one of the three, you can have a mix of all the three, um, but again, to just try and hit that 1%, it doesn't have to be anything super big. So for the quality, what I'm talking about from like, let's again, from a hacking standpoint, Quality would be, again, probably quality, intensity, however you want to put it, right? You're getting 1% more difficult or more intense or more in-depth. So, again, maybe you learned something about a JWT. Maybe instead of all the, uh, like if you're on Port Swigger Web Academy and you've been doing beginner labs, like maybe you bump it up to a practitioner. Maybe you're on practitioner and you bump it up to an expert level lab and you try and do that. So you're, you know, if you were trying to do a lab every day in Port Swigger, like maybe you tried to do a harder one. Right, so instead of doing it longer or doing it more consistently, you know, something like that, you're just trying to do a harder one. So that's how you improved is by doing the quality or the intensity better. Uh, the second one being quantity, that's pretty obvious as in, instead of maybe you're doing, again, Port Swigger Labs as an example, maybe that's how you're improving. 
So maybe you've been doing them an hour a day. Well, maybe you do them an hour and a half a day or even an hour and five minutes a day, right? Because we're looking for a 1%. So do you have to say, oh, I'm gonna improve my quantity, so I'm doing it an hour, I'm gonna go to four hours. No, you can be like, okay, this next week, I did them for an hour a day last week, this week I'm gonna do it for an hour and five minutes or even an hour and two minutes, right? Like literally time yourself and just add more time if that's the way you're gonna improve. But that's an option as well. And then consistency is similar, but the other way around where like, let's say, you know, instead of doing it three days a week, I'm gonna do it five days a week. So I'm not gonna do it longer, but I'm gonna do it more often, right? Which either way will add improvement. So maybe I was only doing it three days a week for like 30 minutes. And instead, now I'm going to do it four days a week. And that fourth day, I'm just doing like an extra fourth day of 10 minutes or something. Or I'm just reading an extra 10 minutes on a fourth day or something. Just anything in those three things to get improvement are all different ways to hit that 1% better every day. Right? If you're doing 20 minutes of reading every morning, you're probably hitting that 1%. Like that, that's one way to do it. If, if that's you know too easy or not your style or whatever, then again, maybe just going online, logging in, doing one port swigger lab with no help and logging off is the one way to do it, right? There's, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, I spoke about it in the beginning, but one thing to keep in mind with this, um, there's a lot of people that will log on, maybe they do a port swigger lab, maybe they do some reading and then you go on Twitter and you see that someone popped a $20,000 bug or found six SQLIs yesterday and are swimming in bounties or, you know, someone else got a bunch of P1s the other day on the program that you were just hunting on and it, it doesn't make sense and you start to feel bad or you start to get the imposter syndrome or all that is is you comparing yourself to someone else. And what you have to do is you have to be comparing yourself to yourself yesterday and no one else and nothing else. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter who did what in the bug bounty world. It doesn't matter who made a video. It doesn't matter who did this. It doesn't matter who did that. Who's popular, who's not popular. It has nothing to do with you. All that matters is that the you today was 1% or more better than the you yesterday. And you'll hit this formula that way, <laughs> right? You just need to be in the green instead of the red. And the only person who decides if you're in the green versus if you're in the red is you. No, no one else, like if someone pops a $20,000 bounty, that's super great. And you should be excited for them. You shouldn't be jealous. You shouldn't be upset. You should be excited for them because they're doing well in their improvement journey or they're doing well in their bug bounty journey. And that's amazing. And you can hit your goals at the same time as everyone else hits their goals. There doesn't need to be any jealousy. There doesn't need to be any comparison. Everyone can hit their goals together. There can be fun competition. I'm all for fun competition, fair competition, all that stuff. It's all great. Go get on the leaderboard, knock people off the leaderboard, it's great. But at the end of the day, the only person that you need to beat is the you from yesterday. That's the one way to make sure you're in the green here to make sure you're seeing constant improvement. The last thing I'm gonna say on that note, and then this video is just gonna be quick, short, and over with, um, is having a growth mindset versus having a goal mindset. There's a lot of literature on this, there's a lot of studies on this, that having a growth mindset is always better than having a goal mindset. And what I mean by that, is going out and saying like, okay, I'm going to get X amount of dollars in bugs this month. That, like, it's a thing, it's a way, like you can do it, it's not necessarily bad, but there's two scenarios, right? There's one scenario where you don't hit the goal, like if your goal's $1,000 and you only hit 500, you don't hit the goal and you feel disappointed. Instead of feeling good that you got 500 more dollars than you got in bounties, than just doing nothing, you're just upset because you didn't get to 1,000. Or maybe you got to 1,200 and you feel accomplished and yeah, you met your goal, but maybe if the goal wasn't 1,000 and you were just going, maybe you actually could have had 3,000 or 4,000, but because you hit your 1,000, you pat yourself on the back, did a good job, and then you coasted for the last two weeks. So really you hit your monthly goal in two weeks and the last two weeks you just coasted and like maybe found a $200 P4 or something like that, whatever, right? So like, great, you made your goal, but like your growth was actually halted by your goal mindset, where if your mindset is a growth mindset in sitting down at the computer or sitting down at whatever you hack on, hopefully it's a computer. I mean, I know there's some people hacking on phones out there, but 
You sit down at your computer and the idea is that when you get up, you're better at what you've done or you're better at your craft than you were when you sat down. That's all that matters. And you're making constant progress. If you found bugs during the month, great, celebrate it. If you didn't, fine, go back, review your work, write down what you learned, what am I better at, what did I not understand, what can I work on, and improve on it. And I promise you, the growth mindset versus the goal mindset, you will, you'll blow right past any goal you set. I promise you, if you don't give yourself the ceiling, not only will you not be disappointed when you don't hit the ceiling, but you won't even realize you hit the ceiling because the ceiling's not there, so you can just go right through it instead of hitting the ceiling and kind of coasting. You'll never go higher than the own ceiling you set for yourself. Very, very, very rarely and almost always on accident. Whereas if you don't have the ceiling and all you're saying is every day I'm growing, every day I'm growing, some days you might grow tremendously, some days you might grow just a little bit, and you may have way bigger months than other months and weeks and days, and some days are bad and some days are not, and there's some stuff that goes on in life and all that kind of stuff, but having a consistent growth mindset and having consistent improvement that you only are comparing to yourself the day before is how you can turn yourself into not a hacker, into one of the best. That's all that matters. So I really hope that this helps some people. Um, hopefully you guys like this. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Um, I plan on continuing to make these and kind of going through mindset stuff and learning and, and just basic mental hacking stuff because I know it's a topic that a lot of people talk about in our industry. Um, but other than that, thanks you guys for watching the whole video. Peace.